and said, I'm so glad. Done got over. I done got over at last. All aboard, 7 a.m. local for Collinsville, Natchez, Greenwood. Change of Greenwood for the Express to Indianola. All other passengers stay on board for Oxford and Memphis. All aboard, please. Tickets. Tickets ready, please. Tickets. That morning, already so hot, already a noonday sun and not even eight o'clock, heat, like a torch in your face that won't go out. I always thought that when and if God was to ever come to test us, that it'd be, like some moment full of thunder some flash of brightness striking you blind in the face like Reverend Thomas preached about. St. Paul struck down on his way to Damascus. But no. When it finally does happen, it can be so simple, so quiet. Come on, all pretty miss. Don't get excited. But this here is the nigger coach. Ain't you noticed it? You want the car up front that's reserved for our white clientele. Then you follow me right this way. Felt like I was moving, standing still at the same time. He lifted my suitcase for me like I was a genuine lady he believed me to be. Hi there, Bryce Sims, <laughs> Patterson Manufacturing, Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is my wife, Wendy. Hello. Oh, yes, this is our first time, too, and we are really looking forward to it. Right you are there. That's what I say. Just let us at the big boy so we can sell our wares. Know what I mean? Uh, Mrs. Sapino, if you don't mind my saying, that is the smartest hat I've seen all afternoon. Oh, what? you're welcome. See you both at the dinner dance. Don't you want to know what the phone say? Don't you want to know? Ten years and you find his wine and the grapes off the vine. Played 777 from the dream book yesterday, too. Books say something highly unusual was said to happen. Did you sneak off the place? No. Boss man McClellan say, Reuben Sinclair, never mind that ton of debt you got. Let me throw you a bon voyage party. So this what happened to you? How long have you been working in this place? Long enough to get lucky today, I reckon. <laughs> Is he Whopper Mick? Looks Mick to me. I have every right to cut out on Who's you. Who's saying any different? Drunk every day, God sent. Joking every joy in the county. Blubbering over that guitar. Leaving us each and every night. Leaving our fields to rot. Mr. Charlie's fields. Fields we ate from. Who's ever they were? So where are you and Mr. Peckerwood living at? The main thing is I am. Oh, living. gal, I got my own life, my own woman. Ain't got no interest in backtracking. Even if you did switch and come back to the race. Goodbye and good luck. Diamond ring, satin gown. All them gals that slam their doors on you down home would be two shades of green if they knew. Guess you don't even remember their faces. They have faces? Shh. Give yourself a new birth name, Zena. Look, this auto man goes on this whole week. So? So don't plan on lurking around, spying on me and my... Husband, Reuben. Oh, just because you live in white, I'm supposed to want to mess with you? Shit, <laughs> well, that's thinking like a proper white lady, all right. Don't make trouble. What I'm going to do? Send down to that one mule country courthouse down the Delta for some faded papers with our names on it? I couldn't care less if you went up and smoked, woman. Trouble. You don't want to get me fired. I would never, never. Who you, lady? Never seen you before in my Help! Somebody, my wife! I'm all right. I'm all right. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, my husband. Damn. Damn. I see it. You miss Anna? So, you see. Little girl they cost. No. Don't nobody dare call me that no more. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you grown now, huh? He the guitar man. And I knew his daddy's daddy. Oh, he was a guitar man. His daddy's daddy. He's a full damn drunk. He's not the man I married. 
Postman's about to throw something to place it. You got a charm or something? I can't. No. Nothing you'll believe in. All right, so I'm a night school refugee out of Baltimore, ten of an Irish, and you, okay, you're a cafeteria waitress who, who cares? Who the hell cares, Wendy? We're making ourselves into somebodies. That's what counts in the land of the free. Jesus, forgive us for shacking up before holding matrimony. <laughs> Jesus got a lot more to forgive over me than this. Church sisters point me out to their little girl. Say, be like Sister Pearl. I can't sidestep the truth. Okay, baby, you just keep your eyes on what's coming come out too, huh? The hall, the dress, the tux, the cake, the band. <laughs> it all paid for down to every last, ever loving thing. And you're going to have your diamond ring if it's the last thing I do. And it's all paid for. Nothing on no credit, right? <laughs> Not my babies. Not them. Not my babies. Cena, these youngins, they, they got the proof. Got the blood spit kind of proof. They want and if they're turned to pneumonia, there must be some kind of way to sweat the sickness out of them. Take me, God. Take me. Punish me. <laughs> oh, look at you. Swilling moon trout with your children halfway between this world and the next. Now I've done what I can. They need the color clinic over in Larkin County. You know that don't open till Thursday. Hey, wrap them up. I'm taking them to Mercy Hospital. You know they don't treat no color over at Mercy. Stop asking the food. Yeah, but I look worried. But too bad they don't. As long as Mama never forgets you, you'll keep me safe. You help Mama through this trial. This one's going to turn out. All right. Jameis in that lunch. Come on, let's christen it for the white folks get to it when it's hauled upstairs. Let's just drive. In the basement. Pretend. Make believe. Dream. <laughs> Come on, put your head back. We're heading over to Canada. Yeah, head on out to open fields with prancing horses and farms planted in high corn, corn in the air, and woods. Thicker and thicker. Something about that gal. You know who I'm calling your old one? See, I sell her to her old fairy husband. Oh, she do the Mizan stuff, but mm -mm, something little fight about her, I swear. You and Thel were going shopping. Pick me up some races, will you? She got some kind of nigga blood in her. How'd you want me? I got radar. I can always spot it. Oh, you a conjure woman now, huh? I tell you, she's a bona fide brown little cousin. Something sweat crossed me when I served her coffee, looking in her eyes. Been paying a <laughs> yeah, well, if she is one, it's her business. How many of the rest of us would try it if we had a chance? Yeah. Everything you want without stop signs thrown up in your face. If they could, most of these spooks out here would be right up there with it. Ruby, ain't you proud of your color and the color of Brits? I can't philosophize and work at the same time, Pearly. You may be the color of Brits, but you ain't pure like Jesus. Nickel. Your yellow mama done rutted with half the midnight rednecks of Eden County, yeah. But when the white men come after your little cherry, oh, you gotta think twice before you disgrace me. Oh, yes. Daddy ever have new little girls when he's got y'all? Lucille, Granny Wade used to say to Mama, can't we try and just scrub off a layer of that soot off the child? Lie soot. Just up had my skin so raw for days that I. Never mind. That's just ignorance. Don't mistake me. I've learned. Baby, if I had had me such a pretty little girl, I would get away. It's like y'all really can't help it. What? I mean, y'all get tempted. 
That dog everywhere you go is Miss Anne staring you down from somewhere, flaunting in your face. Let's give them a big hand, folks. Here they are, crowned and winners of a brand new 1958 Chevrolet. We're told Mr. Sims is the legendary quota man, salesman of the year with his pretty missus. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Let's have a big kiss for the camera. This is the truth, you senior VP. I want the top brass. But if the rumors are correct, sir. Last guess, Bri, will our company policy state that the rumors are correct? It was the way you threw your head back and laughed. The way you walk bold in the world, that's what I first come after. This, this weren't nothing to me. Your earrings coming off. You're a pregnant woman for fuck's sake! It's my husband, Ruben. Fry. You told me you were a widow. Back then he was a drunk. It was unbearable. Oh, girls did die. It really was flu. It was not supposed to see him again in life. Life? is not supposed to be like the movies. The movies are supposed to be like the movies. You can't be that naive, Brian. Stop acting so calm about it! This is how I look when I'm caught. Although, <laughs> you wouldn't know. You will never have a burden on your conscience that you carry to the grave. Jesus caught me. Living a double dealing life. You see, up here is where the devil can snare you. I had fallen by the wayside, was living inside the house. Cancer! You heard what I said. What do we do? With Zena now, send me off some place and put full time and wait and see how the score turns out. Okay, okay, go ahead, make me sound crude. Just what were you planning on doing, just in case anyway, if I didn't stumble onto you? What if I can't carry the full term? And it's up to you. <coughs> what are you gonna do? Come on, Dad. So what's true and real in the French way now? Attention, please. The Civil Line did not express to Chicago, making connections in Chicago from Denver and on to San Diego. Leaving from Track 77. All above. Tickets, please. Tickets. Which way now, Zena Marie Sinclair? Thank you. 